He started his legal career in early 90s as a litigator, then did some transactional work in India and New York, and established this firm in year 2000. Mr. Singhania has been on the board of Fortune 500 companies, and also he has held uh, board member positions in a number of legal and commercial industry chambers. He has written several books, some of them are on employment laws in India, aviation laws, drafting of contracts, food laws. And in his career spanning three decades, now his hair had started turning white, so he decided to write a book on white collar crimes in India. <laughs> uh, may I request sir to please come here and say a few words. members of the judiciary, learned arbitrators, friends and colleagues from the bar, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining this evening and I think it's almost after two years that we are all like now starting to get together and meet up like in this basis. Uh, it, like, that also adds to the pleasure of the occasion and as a firm for us it's a huge moment to bring out the experience we've had working on clients' uh, matters in a book form to share with legal fraternity, as well as for those like you know, keen to know more about the criminal aspect of numerous civil laws. You know, when you think of the word white collar crime, you think of big scams like Enron, uh, Bernie Madoff, Rajat Gupta, Wirecard. General Electric and even some of our Indian ones like Satyam, 2G, Vijay Malaya, Neera Modi and many more. Uh, perhaps we may also see some of the scams relating to the decent IPOs which came, the mega IPOs of the startups. Uh, you think of those big, big numbers and big uh, actions. But I think the reality lies for us common business folks and professionals who are personally affected by more mundane but equally damaging situations uh, of offences under various civil laws. A lot of us don't recognize that a number of civil laws have a serious criminal implication also, and thus the book on white collar crimes. Uh, the white collar crimes book touches upon the situations such as the shareholder disputes, which are not only violations of the Companies Act, but may also be financial fraud amongst parties, intellectual property violations which could be inadvertent or blatant, but they are prosecutable. If you are infringing somebody else's trademark or copyright, a lot of times you don't realize that we copied something and that also have, entails criminal offenses and prosecution. A uh, lot of us are, as promoters and shareholders, directors of companies, be liable under the safety laws and many more laws. Some uh, procedure behind them, such as the CBI, DRI, DRE, UW, etc. I would say it's a good book for anybody wanting to do business in India. The potential risks and the agencies enforcing those laws. So it's a different perspective to doing business in India, which I think people would like, you know, would be interested to know more about it. But before I like, you know, end, and I would like to thank the entire firm for the tireless efforts which everyone made, like in supporting, giving their experiences and like you know the knowledge behind it but more particularly my partner Vikas Abhishek who led the book uh, senior associates Shivangi, Siddharth, Vivek, uh, associates Megha, Pragya and many many more like you know who like who supported the book and it would not have been without Kushbu's support who pressurized all of us we need to complete the book Thomson Reuters has given us this opportunity and I think we are glad we were able to accomplish it. With that, I'd like to thank everyone this evening for joining us for the inauguration.